Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, hope you are all doing well. So today I am going to be making some Ras Malai and I thought I'll record it and show you how I make this box Ras Malai. So this is a Laziza's Ras Malai mix and it's with almonds. So yeah, I'm just going to open the box and then show you step by step how and what I do to make it. So I'll be, oh sorry about that guys, my camera's falling. Um, so I will be making um, two boxes. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I just sorted my camera out. Uh, the stand was falling. So um, as I was saying, I'm going to be making two boxes. Um, obviously, because I'm making two boxes, you have to double the ingredients. So here is the box. There you go. Instruction instructions on the back as well. Um, there you go, that's what it looks like. So I'm just going to open it and show you oh, what it looks like from inside. And there you have it. There's a box empty. Um, and then you just get this packet inside. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start getting all the things uh, together that I need to use to make the Ras Malai. So yeah, let's get started. So I've got my pan out, um, the pan that I'm going to use and obviously I'm going to turn the heat on underneath this and then pour the milk in uh, the amount I need. Uh, I'm going to put milk in and the uh, sugar as well. So I'm going to be putting the milk in first so that uh, it can boil while I make the Ras Malai. Um, oh, finish. let me just get my other uh, milk gallon out one second guys actually before i um carry on putting in the milk i'm just going to turn on the gas so that it can start heating straight away oops wrong one there we go I'm just going to put this back on the, under the heat, there we go. So I'm going to keep it on high gas so that the milk boils fast. Um, and then I'm just getting more milk because obviously this is not enough. There we go, now that's perfect amount of milk. I've just guessed and put it in because um, I, I've made it so much now that I don't really need to uh, follow the instructions but um, if you want to get it exact same amount um, then on the box it says one um, litre of milk but obviously I've just done it on a guess and plus I'm not just making one box I am making two boxes so I'm doubling the amount now as the milk is boiling now I'm using this cup hold on a second put the camera back there you go this cup um, it's not a big one it's quite a small one for sugar and once again I am guessing the sugar amount because I'm using um, two boxes so I'm doubling the amount of everything and the sugar it, it depends on yourself um, how sweet you want it but on the box it says um, one to one and a half a cup of sugar but it's up to you how sweet you want it so this is the amount of I'm gonna put in um, of sweetness that I've guessed from myself <clears throat> for two boxes so I'm just gonna put this in the milk there we go and now I'm going to leave this obviously to the side and let it boil and now I'm going to start making the uh, Ras Malai balls also on the box it says um, add some water but it's your personal choice I prefer not to add the water because um, I like the milk to be very milky I don't want it to um, die down with the water so yeah um, that's up to you if you want to put water in or not but me personally I prefer not to put the water in anyway moving on let's um, start with the um, uh, the Ras Malai balls, sorry I am keep forgetting what words I'm using. <laughs> uh, 
anyway let me just so i've got my bowl that i'm going to put in this mix and on the side over there um the milk is boiling while i'm doing this so i'm just gonna get the scissors and cut this open so i couldn't find my scissors so i'm just using a knife there we go now i'm gonna put in the mixture into the bowl so that's one packet and then I'm putting the next packet in as well. So that's what you get from two packets. And now, um, and you can also see the almonds in there too. Um, now anyway, I am going to um, add in two eggs. Because like I said again, I am doing two boxes, not the one. And if I did the one box, I'd only need one egg, but I'm going to be using two eggs and then give it a good mix. So it turns into like dough. So here are my eggs. So I'm going to break uh, both of them and put it into the um, Ras Malai powder. That's one. And then the other one. There you go. So they're both in there. And now um, and now what I'm going to do is just get a spoon, a regular spoon, it doesn't really matter. Or a mixing spoon, whatever you find. Um, just got a regular spoon and I'm going to give it a good mix. You can use your hands as well, but um, I don't want to use my hands right now. I will have to, I will be using my hands afterwards. But yeah. So as you can see it's already clumping together and that's what you want. Basically it needs to turn into like dough the way you would make um, bread. There you go. Give it a good mix. See it's coming together really nicely. Um, on the box it says pour a bit at a time and give it a mix. But I end up using both the eggs so I'll just put it all in one go. Done. doesn't take long so in the powder you just need to add eggs nothing else uh, you can see the color is changing um, to a nice orange or yellow color there we go almost done done there you go so that's what it's uh, meant to look like there you go show you and you can see the almonds in there and it smells actually really nice <laughs> I wouldn't mind eating it raw but obviously I wouldn't it's just because of the smell it smells nice anyway putting that to a side before I use my hands um, I've got myself a little bowl and in this I'm going to put some uh, cooking oil which is sunflower oil um, if anyone wants to know, that's what it looks like, sunflower oil. Um, just a little drop, not too much, because um, I'll need this. There we go, that's more than enough. I'll be needing this because um, when I use my hands, um, it will stop the rest of my life mix to stick to my hands. So I'm going to dab my hands in here, get them all nice and wet, and then I'm going to... Uh, make the balls and place them straight away into the milk so this is what the milk looks like um, it's still it's a little bit boiled not fully but it's okay I'm actually gonna put the lid on it so it gets a bit boiled quicker um, while I start making the balls so just gonna get that there we go right so first thing the oil this is what i do put my hand in it then give my, both my hands a rub together like so because i will be needing my hand by doing this circular motion and making balls out of it so i'm just gonna get a little bit of mix just about that much 
there you go see it's not sticking to my hand if i had oil or no oil it'd be all stuck to my hand gonna give it a good old round mix ball and there you go and this is going straight into the milk got the right amount there and mix 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 there you go mix it turns into a little ball and put it direct into the milk it doesn't matter if it's not exactly the right size of the ball Ooh, stuck to my hand there we go and it's gone right in into the milk get some oil on my hand again make sure you put oil on a lot because it get look can see it's sticking to my hand already which we don't want there we go. perfect little round ball and put it straight in and done like that okay guys so I'm just gonna quickly do all the balls and then I'll show you what I need to do next on what looks like what so there you go guys I've put it into the uh, pan um, all the balls into the milk and as you can see they've expanded and they've lifted up so I'm just gonna get um, a flat spoon um, just one of these flat spoons and I'm just gonna press it down like so like that just press it down oh look there you go can you see how big they've expanded uh, from the size that I've made them just press them down like so And if you do, just give them a really light mix, like so. There you go. Look how delicious they look already. Um, there you go. And just going to put it, do that, in and out the spoon like so. Because I don't want them to break, hopefully. <laughs> there you go. See, and just give them a little turnover. You don't have to give them a turnover, but I wouldn't. Uh, I prefer to give them a little turnover. There we go. So I made them quite big, the balls. Um, there we go. Done. So now what I'm going to do is just leave it to boil for about 5-10 minutes more. And then after that, um, they're ready to serve. Uh, even though... Actually, they're not ready to serve because they're really hot. They'll be really warm. And just my light only tastes nice when it's cold. So I'm going to put it into the fridge. And then as um, soon as they have gone cold, then obviously they'll be ready to serve. Um, and don't cover it because if you cover it with the pan uh, lid, um, the milk will come out of the pan, which we don't want that. So yeah, guys, that's how I make my Ras Malai. Um, if you want me to make more cooking videos, um, like stuff like this, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to do more for you. Um, <clears throat> and if you want to see how I made my uh, pistachio ras malai, um, go ahead and check out my Ramadan vlog. Um, I think it's in week 2 or week 3. No, I think it's in week 2, yes. Um, the full recipe and we I even made it in week three but I didn't show the full recipe uh, so yeah go ahead and um, feel free to check that out and yeah um, as soon as it's all done I will show you the final result and um, I'll catch you in a second um, so before I actually uh, show you the results when it's done if you can see the some of them are still yellow um, and they're not meant to look yellow when it's done it's meant to look like a nice cream color so all you need to do is just press them down lightly and just keep pressing them down so that the milk gets onto them uh, or just give them a little flip over but um, I suggest you just press them down like so so yeah so this is what they are meant to look like um, I did my balls quite big so obviously it's come out big the dough expands and look how delicious that looks and once it cools down and you know ready to eat oh I'm excited and it smells amazing mashallah but anyway um, this is actually almost done I'm just going to give it for, uh, give it a few more minutes under the heat and then I am going to 
we're putting it straight into the fridge so it cools down so it's at 100 percent done now i'm actually going to turn the heat off under the gas and i mean <laughs> under the pan <laughs> not under the gas under the pan and um, as you can see it stopped bubbling um, and that's ready and I'm going to place this into the fridge uh, so that it can get nice and cold and then ready, pe ready to be served um, so yeah once I serve it I will show you uh, what it looks like inshallah so yeah bye for now until it's cooled down <laughs> so i've just put into the fridge um so it can stay cool um and then obviously it'll be ready to be served afterwards so yeah right i just um open the fridge i thought i'll check on it um even though i don't really need to check on it but i just want it to, and if you can see the steam is coming out which is really good can't wait to eat it and finally um it's time to serve it um i already started serving and then i was like oops i have forgot to record it so there you go there you have it there's one of the rasmalais and look how delicious it looks and if you look properly and concentrate on it obviously um you can see the uh, the nuts in it and i just put myself uh some in and oh my days it's so yummy and i'm trying to focus it which it won't focus um there you go i focused it so i'm trying to show you what it looks like from inside and look there you have it look at the nuts so yeah that's the recipe of the rasmalai